So for number 10, um, we want to take the region bounded between these curves and we want to rotate it about the x-axis. So I've drawn these curves um, and when we rotate it, what is happening is we're taking this little height here, which is um, the distance between the y-axis and our curve, um, the square root of x, and then we're rotating it like so. So when we rotate it, we end up with this um, with the cylinder, and when we open up the cylinder, think of it being like a sheet of paper. Let me draw that a little bit better. Um, think of it being like an infinitely thin sheet of paper that we wrapped around the x-axis. And so um, what is going to happen here is we're going to have these different widths that we are rotating, right? So we're going to have these um, these different cylinders, and so when we um, when we add them up, we're going to end up with a volume. Um, let me just remove that because it's a little bit messy. So basically, our volume here, our volume is going to be the integral. Well, we're summing up these cylinders. Um, we're summing up their area from zero all the way out to y is equal to two. So we're doing from zero to two. And then we're summing up these areas, so areas, um, but our areas are a function of y. And the reason that they're a function of y is because we're summing it up vertically. So we're summing them up as a function of y, so we have a y dy. Um, now let's think about how this area is going to be expressed. So this, um, let me take a different color here. Uh, this width over here, this is pretty simple. It's just, I uh, shouldn't have used green. Let me use something else. Let me use purple. So this width over here is basically just this width right here. And this is, um, this is the distance from the, y, from the y axis all the way out to our curve. So if you think of it um, horizontally, right, it's just the height of the curve. Uh, but since we are expressing it in terms of y, we can see here that it's where it touches this orange curve, um, but we need to express it in terms of y. So what we're going to do here is square both sides. So we have y squared is equal to x, and these two are equivalent, um, they're equivalent equations, right? So all I did was I squared both sides, and now I can express this as y squared. Um, so to recap, uh, this distance here that gets revolved, right, this little width, it's basically um, where it touches this orange curve. And all we did was we expressed this orange curve in terms of y um, because we're integrating with respect to y. Um, so once we've done that, all we need now is to find we have the base, but now we need to find the area of our height. Um, and so the area, the sorry, the height here, this part is actually given by the circumference like so because think of taking the cylinder and then cutting it open so like um, the long part is going to be that height and as we can see here that height is just the circumference and so the circumference of any circle is just 2 pi r um, and now let's just think about what the r is how can we express this radius and well basically um, the radius is the distance from the center and I guess I didn't really draw this as a center, but from the center all the way out uh, where I go on my y-axis, right? So the further that I'm at on my y-axis, the bigger the radius is going to be. So basically the radius is just wherever I'm at on my y-axis, right? It's just the value of y. Um, so now this becomes here. Let me zoom out. This becomes two pi y. Therefore, my area as a function of y is equal to base times height, which is equal to 2 pi y times y squared, which is equal to 2 pi y cubed. Um, so once I have an expression for my area, I can now integrate, right? So my volume is going to be, I'm going to put the 2 pi outside because it's a constant, and so the integral from 0 to 2 of y cubed. Um, this is equal to 2 pi times y to the power of 4 over 4, evaluated from 0 to 2. Um, now, we don't need to worry about the lower boundary because it's just going to go to 0, right? We just need to do the upper. So this is equal to 2 pi 
times 2 to the power of 4 divided by 4, which is equal to, let's see, that is 2 to the power of 4 is 16, divided by 4 is 4, times 2 is equal to 8 pi. So that's the volume that we get um, when we take this area and then we rotate it about the x-axis using the shell method.